Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EIK WM France deck G G45 G8 game with Polka Dot, Field Watchman, and PM. Let's see which uh, we're using Nwall's G8 collection. So we're doing some more of the Domba Summer Challenge. Uh, bit of a late start here on Two and Tuesday. Um, we the work on the bathroom is finally done. It was supposed to be a one-day project. I knew it wasn't going to be a one-day project. There was no way for everything we were getting done, but it ended up taking a bit of time over the course of four days. So <laughs> it's done at least. So uh, that's good. Let's take a look at this first pile. All the cards I know are pretty disappointing. Let's hope we get something good from the G8 cards. Son of Storyteller. When you play this card and each time you use the take one vegetable action, you receive one food for each food on the traveling player space. What's interesting is you don't actually take the food off of there. You just get it. Not sure about that. That probably should you probably should just take the food on traveling players. At the end of the game, if you ex exceeded the four point threshold for fields, pastures, goods in blah blah, here we go. Master the manor. Here's our pick. Here's our pick, Master of the Manor. Going for a super nice farm. We want to hit six fields. We want to hit um, five pastures. We want to hit six grain, five vegetables. We're going to get a lot of bonus points. Here's our first pick, beautiful. Master of the Manor, absolutely. So following that up, uh, good morning, Maruska. Uh, following that up, we've got Grocer here, so the pick is definitely Grocer. Uh, plowman would be acceptable, but hopefully we get a better plow than Plowman. Something like Swing Plow would be great. Grocer is a fantastic pickup here for our planned uh, really nice farm. Okay, this pick, uh, Grocer is actually pretty nice with Resource Seller because we can use Grocer to buy the Resource Seller goods at certain times. So for example, Grocer, we can pick a clay off and usually clay is like one of the things that you have a hard time with, with the Resource Seller. Um, we could also take a card like Tile Maker. Tile Maker similarly gives us clay, gets us the clay off of Grocer. So for me, it's between one of those two picks. Uh, basket maker, braid maker are okay. Resource gatherer is, resource gatherer is fine. Since we're going for a pretty farm, uh, I really like uh, tile maker or a resource seller here. Which is better? PM says, what a pile of crap to my file. Yeah, my pile was not good. <laughs> I got the one good card out of it. Um, tile maker or resource seller? <sighs> Master the manor and grocer don't have to be played early. Resource seller can be. So I think that resource seller is fine here. Yeah. And my hope will be that I can get the uh, stone and then the clay. That's the third from the bottom and second from the bottom from resort, from Grocer. Okay. Um, minimalist is kind of cute. Minimalist plus Master of the Manor could be a lot of bonus points. Uh, I wonder if I should take a card like Wealthy Man here. Uh, honestly, Resource Seller is fine to play early, but I don't have to play it early. I could go for a card like Wealthy Man. Um, Astronomer is fun. And then we've also got Tavern Keeper here. So I could take Tavern Keeper. Gets me green, which is good. I think though I'm probably only doing a three room house, very likely, if I can, if I can swing it. Um, card like, so yeah, Wealthy Man, Astronomer, ta Tavern Keeper. Uh, I don't know if I want to commit to Wealthy Man yet, like without seeing what my miners are. 
Because the thing is, if I want to do like a pretty farm, I might not play that many improvements. So that kind of pushes me towards Astronomer, I suppose. But Astronomer, if I can only ever hit it with three family members, is not really worth playing ever. I think what we do is we speculate on Wealthy Man. We don't have to commit to it. We don't have to commit to it, but we can see what else we get here. Okay. Um, the only pick real that I really want here is Cowherd. Cowherd can help me if I take Cowherd, uh, play Cowherd, take Cattle twice. I should be able to hit seven Cattle, which would be a lot of points. This pick. Uh, well, Animal Welfare does help me get a bunch of pairs of animals, which Master of the Manor might appreciate. But realistically, it's very difficult to max out animals because you normally end up wanting to eat them. I'll take Woodcutter here. And Basket Maker is totally fine. Frame Builder, eh. I don't think it's all that likely I'm going to want to build. Build that room. Okay. So we're looking for Plow Help. So Evening Prayer does the job. Uh, baby Sling, I mean, I love Baby Sling. I think it's a fantastic card. However, I'm wondering if I should take Evening Prayer here. So if Evening Prayer plays, say, um, Grocer and one other card, well, I guess maybe Wealthy Man and Grocer, or maybe Wealthy Man and Basket Maker, something like that. Maybe we only decide to play three occupations this game. And uh, Evening Prayer would be pretty fantastic for the Wealthy Man. Because it's, uh, it, uh, it's another improvement I play before Occupations. Um, I mean, I like Baby Sling. I think it's a really good card. It's really hard for me not to take Baby Sling. But I think Evening Prayer is kind of perfect for what I want to do this game. I think considering I'm very strongly considering like a three-room house... Baby Sling would definitely pop off once. And it's a great card. But, uh. I think I might not get the best use out of it this game. Because this looks like a hand that will like Plow So better than Family Growth, even without room. And that's a big problem for the Baby Sling. That if you're playing Baby Sling, you really want to love the Family Growth, even without room space. How do I not play Baby Sling? I know, I know, I like it. The thing is, Evening Prayer is just so perfect here. Like, I'm gonna play... I'm gonna maybe play three occupations total. Right? I probably play uh, Evening Prayer for Wealthy Man and Grocer. So Grocer is gonna be perfectly timed because Evening Prayer means I have two fields ready to go. So when I play Grocer, I'm gonna be ready to follow up with the so action. And then also, um, and then I play Master of the Manor at the end of the game. I think this could be, this could work. I know I love Baby Sling. I love Baby Sling. But this is a case where I think Evening Prayer is better for me. So going for the first fireplace would be quite good. I'd like to have access to really good food without, you know, needing to play occupations, so. Okay, um... 
So wild chickens, four food on the general supply, wood accumulation space. The problem is it's got a two occupation prereq, same with integrated stable. So I think I'm skipping over both of them because of that. Now, it's not possible for me to make five fence stables for Master of the Manor. So I think stables are not a strategy I want to pursue anyways. Granary is pretty good. Beacons, again, fence stables. So we got three fence stable cards here. So I'll take Granary. Yeah. Um, okay. Coffee break looks good. Um, I mean, Oxgoad helps me get my fields with Cowherd. Problem is the three occupation prerequisite. Coffee break looks fantastic here. Really fantastic. Yeah. I normally like greenhouse, but one occupation prereq. Sitting benches is kind of interesting, but I don't know how many points it'll be. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Fence trade. Build fences up to the number of wild boar on your farm. You pay nothing for these fences. Uh, interesting. Yeah, coffee break. It does seem nice here. So, full-bottomed wig is an option. Uh, baker's oven is an option. We could maybe maybe decide to build ovens. Although, it doesn't increase our play to, uh, improvement count with for wealthy man. Same issue with fence trade. Mountain pasture... Mountain Pasture honestly seems pretty good. If I'm going to do a three-room house, I guess so if I'm going to want to do six fields and five pastures, I don't really have room for Mountain Pasture. So, full bottom wig here, I think. You don't see Coffee Break coming before Wealthy Man? That's going to be my goal. That's going to be the goal, Wealthy uh, Coffee Break before Wealthy Man. Full bottom wig here seems fine. I'll probably uh, reno at the end of the game, so it's a. I mean, it's a, realistically, it's a free point with Grocer because Grocer is going to give me my two read. Uh, same issue with Cooking Corner. Uh, Chameleon is fine. Breakfast Outdoors is fine. I don't really want to spend the re the vegetable or the grain though, because that will scare me. That will take me away from the Master of the Manor points. Um, I don't think I'm playing Town Hall, so I think just by default I'm taking Parforce Hunting here. Um, I don't really want to play any of these. I will play Occupations at the end of the game. Bread Paddle. Let's look up something about Bread Paddle quick. Can I buy... Can I play Grocer, buy the goods from Grocer, and then um, use them to bake? You may not use the food from baking to pay for the occupation. That makes sense. I feel like I should be able to play the uh, play grocer, buy the goods, and then play it. Thing is, I would need to have like an oven. I would need to have an oven before I do that, and I'd much rather. I'm much gonna rather want a cooking hearth. And I'm only gonna bake a couple times with bread pat. So bread paddle, I don't think is worth playing. We'll just take shepherd's pipe here. Birdcage is quite expensive for what it does, so I'm not taking Birdcage. Uh, don't want open fields. Haystack. I might make Haystack work at some point. If 
I fence ten, get three cat, three uh, sheep, three boar, that would trigger haystack. Sitting bench just doesn't seem. I mean, the thing is, I can play sitting bench very easily. That's the appeal of it. It only costs one wood. The problem is, what are the odds that I actually play all of these improvements if I only family growth once? Very low. Haystack is like a swing. It's a very high upside card. That if I do manage to play Haystack, I'm going to be pretty happy with it. Because it's going to give me a lot of food. So we don't want occupations at all. What's our best start? Occupation, in, um, no, not occupation. We don't want occupation. Read stone food into two clay if sheep or major minor are around one. Or else uh, three wood into two, into two clay. One of those two. One of those two would be good. And then we'll are, we're also going to want, if we build the fireplace, we're also going to want a four clay action for granary plus coffee break. And this is a hand that does not mind sitting on start player at all, just as long as I get the, the right resources. You know, I'd be happy to play Coffee Break, Granary, Par Force Hunting, Shepherd's Pipe, all on start player. Because I'd be getting a point as I do so. So PM's just AFK for a minute, says his kids need him. How am I going to plow six fields? Uh, that's going to be, it's going to be very difficult. Six fields will probably be uh, a stretch goal category. Because I would have to plow one field manually uh, six times. You're right. That's very difficult to do. Um, my hope is that with evening prayer and going for first family growth that I might be able to pull it off. Realistically, I'm probably going to have to choose between when I hold animals from and take wood and um, when I get to play. Um... Oh, they got Reedstone food around one. Cool. Let's go for it. Uh, I'll have to choose between when I get animals and when I um, if I plow six fields or not. Realistically, I'm probably not getting to six fields. Probably not. So, yeah. It might be difficult for me to cover my farm. But this Master of the Manor seems quite strong. Like, I should be able to do four categories, which is six bonus points. PM plays Stone Carrier in round one. This might be a game where I really need to swing for, I really like start player in round 11 and round 12, but that might be something that I want to do repeatedly. Round 11, round 12, start player very highly. Uh, so you've got water carrier and swamp farmer. I'll grab the two clay here. Signal my intent for that for, to go for that first fireplace. It also just gives me the option of like start player coffee break in round two. PM plows a field. All right. Ooh. Field watchmen start players. I don't mind at all. I'm still in second. 
And he takes two reed, giving me reed stone food. Beautiful. So the rest of this ra rest of this stage is all about getting wood. Getting wood and building rooms. And taking clay, four clay one time. I can play I can plow fields, but I'm I'm not really in a hurry to plow fields. I'd rather really set up for that build room and also get my food engine going, which is taking sheep. Ooh, tile maker and charcoal burner here. Hmm. So I've got some competition for that first fireplace now. Take two wood. PM's going to start player greenhouse, okay. So PM seems to be setting something up with fields. With his plow second action round one, and with playing greenhouse this early, PM has some sort of vegetable payoff, it seems clear to me. Could be building stone rooms with lemon trader, since he played stone carrier. Could be that he can build major improvements with vegetables, which is why also... So I, I'm trying to link Stone Carrier and Greenhouse in the early field together. Trying to figure out how that's working. Maybe he just has that miner that makes uh, major improvements cheaper if you have a vegetable field. Could just be that. So three wood would be good. And if I don't get three wood, I'll take four clay. And then on the rebound, I could start player or I could take three food. Polka Dot's going to start player guild hall. So Polka Dot definitely going for that first fireplace. Tile Maker, a fantastic occupation to have with guild hall. Guarantees you that four clay. Lets you start player into the fireplace. Um, okay, so I can take four clay. I'm going to need more than four clay now because the two clay fireplaces. Well, you know what? F Feel, Polka Dot's probably going to upgrade away from the two clay fireplace, so I think I can take four clay here. It still gives me what I need for um, granary and coffee break. And yeah, very likely Polka Dot's going to build the two clay fireplace and then upgrade it to a cooking hearth to play another occupation for free. So. Three food coming back would be good. We might see Field Watchman grab the two wood. Field Watchman probably going to sow his for his Swamp Farmer, though. So I'm not really worried about Field Watchman building in round four. He, the only time he could build ahead of me is in round five, after harvesting his two reeds. So. Polka dot taking three clay again. Hmm. I guess with Guildhall, Polka dot probably wants to play a bunch of major improvements, so the three clay is always good. Yeah, Field Watchman does so. All right, I'll take uh, three food here. I would I would start player if it was available, but it's not so. Three food is fine. I'm hoping to get three wood. There's going to be four wood and three wood available, and Polka Dot is going to have to first move uh, Fireplace. So Field Watchman will probably take the four wood, and then I'll get the three wood, and then I can either start player with my second action or build a room with my second action. One of those two. Yeah, Polka Dot Plowman. Building the fireplace, unsurprisingly.
PM has quite a bit of stone already. Start player probably better than build a room. I need those imps. Well, the thing is, if I don't start player here, um, if I build a room here, then I'm pro likely to have to first move start player in round five anyways. Um, however, if uh, Field Watchman is the only person can build that can build and I can't stable block, then Field Watchman could first move start player into build. So that tells me I should start player. Plus, it, get, it gets me, uh, it gets coffee break in play, which I want to get coffee break in play. Field Watchman is going to start player here. Start player wild chickens. So, yeah, if, uh, if Field Watchman... If Field Watchman first move start players, then second move build, I can't uh, I can't jump in in front of him. However, this secures second family growth. If he wants to sit on start on start player, this secures second family growth for me. So I think this is fine. I'll build here. Now if round five is family growth. This is maybe a mistake. No, if round five is family growth, this is good. If round six is family growth, it's maybe a mistake. Because if round six is family growth, I could maybe start player into it. But I'll start player into it either way. Hey, round five family growth. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you to Chris. Guys, bless bless Chris. Bless RNG Chris. <laughs> All you subscribers of Lumen. <laughs> R and Jesus, that's right. Oh, which one is it? Welcome, uh, Wong Wong Z ninety SS here. Cool. Welcome. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, I haven't seen you online so much recently on the site, but of course we used to play all the time in like... Did we play a lot in like 2012? I feel like we played a lot in 2012 SS. I don't remember. Fun game just now, I'm still kind of on a high from it. Do you have a really nice game, Norden Watch? Um, I'm going to build the cooking hearth here. With uh, animals coming in round, uh, yeah. With animals coming in round, um, or sorry, with family growth coming in round five, I'm going to need a lot of food. So building the cooking hearth here I think is fine. Equestrian axe giant got to double grow in round eight to five. Whoa. That's crazy. So, I need to start plowing a f plowing fields. So, third move, plow a field for the rest of the game should be uh, a goal of mine. And then, you know, four wood. Four wood's great. I should take four wood when I can. Um, the clay for granary would be nice. But I feel less important about the clay for granary now. Ooh, baby sling is interesting here. So po field, polka dot start player baby sling. So if PM builds in round four, then polka dot and polka dot makes baby sling the family growth space available. It would let PM build into grow if he can pull that off. Oh wow! Oh field watchman, such a nice guy. 
Oh, you know why? Because he's going to be able to build the Maker's Workshop with his minor improvement. That's why. So we will very happily take four wood here. We might even get four wood twice. Buffalo herder, livestock herder, pumping out cuts for food and reed. Uh, so I should leave last action start player available. I think it's very likely I can start player into six wood. So I should maybe take two sheep. Or, um, yeah, I really want those sheep. Although polka dot, maybe polka dot will take the three wood. Yeah, polka dot playing coke stove on family growth here. Yeah, that was that has this has worked out extremely well for Polka Dot and Field Watchmen. So getting family growth in five is no longer the benefit it was because two other players grew in six, unfortunately. And the family growth queue is much less tight than it may have been under normal circumstances. I'm kinda surprised PM didn't take Baby Sling. That card is really good. Did he take Greenhouse over Baby Sling? I don't remember what else is in the pile. <sighs> we'll take the two sheep here for now. Leave myself last option, start player into three wood or plow a field. One of those two. Would I play Granary or Parforce Hunting? I'm probably not getting another improvement action before um, round 7. So Parforce Hunting seems fine here. Why two sheep? No one can cook animals except for me now. Um, that's a good point. I guess I just assumed Polkadot is going to build, um, rebuild the major, rebuild the two clay fireplace. Since Polkadot is going to want the food, plus it lets him play an occupation. I just assumed he's going to build it. Sorry, I should have articulated that. Good question, Norton Watch. Thank you. And I still want to give myself the option of being able to react to the potential six wood being available. Yeah, because Polka Dot needs the um, occupation here. Oh, uh, I see this is a car that's not showing up. So Son of Storyteller. This is the one where when you take vegetable, you get all the food on traveling players. So I'll go ahead and start player now, play Power Force Hunting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I get six wood. Yeah, he just added it. It's the um, the point markers, the triangles on the round spaces. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is definitely a round to plow a field in. What else could I do? Take four clay. Oh, field watchman plowed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. 
I don't see anything for him to plow yet, or him, him to sow yet. Build the well. The well would be good, yes. Unfortunately, I'd have to take one stone, which I don't really want to do. I could maybe build the pottery. Well, four clay seems reasonable either way. Then I could, yeah, build the pottery or take traveling players. PM can only build the pottery or the well. He can't build both, so... And he's going to family growth here. He got confused. Granary with wood. Uh, I'm not too worried about the round eight grain. Because uh, I get a grain from Grocer. So round 10 and 12 grain are enough. They're good enough. Polka dot upgrades to a cooking hearth, baking instructor. Whenever another player builds an improvement with a cooking symbol, you get a food and a grain which you may bake immediately. Oh, that seems pretty good. Did I pass that? I might have passed that. Might have been in my first pile and I didn't look too closely at it. But certainly with uh, charcoal burner, really hoping for uh, for that. Also, major miners taken. Yeah, so traveling players here. It's fine. PM plays town hall. I wonder if PM's got a stone house strategy. Uh, so I passed resource seller or resource dealer, the stone house resource card. So PM might be going for that. Oh, did he not buy the vegetable? The round four vegetable? Looks like he didn't. Interesting. Well, I don't really want to start player when I'm already the start player. That's always really obnoxious when people do that. I think what I do is I just take the four food here. He ate it raw, really? It's like net, it's a net downside to eat it raw, isn't it? Because he has to pay two food for it. One food, okay. So it's food neutral for him to have bought it. So worst position I'm in is second next round, which is good. I will very happily first move take four wood. Or potentially second move four wood. Uh, at 12 wood, I can definitely consider fencing. Fencing a, a bit so that I can start holding breeding pairs. Maybe set up haystack potentially. Set up like a round 10 haystack or something. Field watchman start player gold mine. Okay. I don't mind using day labor and getting two wood. Or right now I need a wood and a reed. So taking a wood and a reed. Or a reed and a stone. Did PM never pay for the vegetable from Greenhouse? No four wood, but uh, three wood is good. Although maybe day labor is even better than three wood here. Uh, 
FFRS. And then I can plow, I can reno and then last move plow. Reno build the well. If PM doesn't build the well with this action. Yeah, PM taking Reedstone food, okay. I think PM is renovating rather than spending his stone. I'll go ahead and build the uh, build the well here. So last move, uh, plow a field here. I need to actually start plowing my fields or I'm never going to have two for evening prayer. So I think I want to set up start player evening prayer round 11. Because I can play grocer. Grocer will be good in the event that I hit plow so round 12. And... Uh, and also, I would like, I would think I would prefer family growth even without room round 12. But if I got plow so, it would be fine. Yeah, so I'll try to set that up, I think. So probably round nine, I should be planning to play um, Granary, I think. Try to get back on start player. So I'll go ahead and plow a field here. This is maybe not looking so much like a Master of the Manor game, but just a really strong wealthy man game. Like if I hit a, you know, six point wealthy man and then I have a solid farm score. Um, yeah, this might not be so much of a master of the manor game. But grocer plus wealthy man should be, enable me to have a good game nonetheless. Just a lot of points between my well. All my miners have points on them. Except for evening prayer, basically. I don't have to play shepherd's pipe. So in case you guys missed it earlier, sorry about the late start today. Um, the work on the bathroom is finally done. All the tools are gone. All the materials are gone. <laughs> now it needs a bit of a cleaning because there's uh, some left behind dirt from the process. But uh, no more hammering, which is good. Ooh, Polkadot plays Pickler. Okay. I should be able to challenge for Pickler. Uh, I think I'd have to say three room exactly. I think um, safety pin would have to say three rooms exactly for it to be a hard requirement. I think it's a, usually these are minimums. Usually the prerequisites are minimums. But yeah, I could definitely challenge for pickler with uh, grocer in hand. All right. 
right. Um, three wood or plow a field. Take three wood, I suppose. This looks like a round that I could uh, fence and then take a pair of animals in. So if I fence here and then take three sheep, then I can actually accommodate the boar in round 10. However, if I do that, I'm not playing granary, of course. So playing granary would be nice. So I could plow and then play granary. That would be the other line that I could follow here. It'd be kind of nice to play granary for three clay. And I do get one more clay from my grocer. I guess I was sort of planning on rebuilding the two clay fireplace for two points with, with Wealthy Man, but it gives the charcoal burner and it gives the baking instructor stuff, so maybe it's better to try to play granary with uh, grocer. The problem with that is I have to play grocer before granary, which means I can't get Wealthy Man food out of it. And I'm probably not playing Start Player Wealthy Man until round 11, so then granary to give me even one grain, I'd have to play in the same round as round 11. So maybe we just play granary here. Uh, okay, so only two players can eat animals right now. It certainly looks like Polka Dot is going to take animals. He'll probably take both of them, realistically. Yeah, he needs a lot of food. Polka Dot needs... Assuming he family grows, he needs seven food. So, yeah, he might take both of the animals. So if we assume he takes both of the animals... Oh, and Plow's gone. Damn it, Field Watchman's taking Plow every time right before I want to. Um, I kind of want to play Granary here. But you know what? Fencing is going to be better. Yeah, I could fence and then take some animals. Yeah, fencing and take some animals seems good. Fence 10. Field Watchman going to take vegetable and then sow those two? Yeah, probably makes sense. PM's got officer. Okay, so that was his first pick. So there's his stone house payoff card. Problem is he has to get to a stone house now. And uh, he's quite delayed on his stone house. So Polka Dot's got to take one of the sets of animals here. I'll take what it, whichever one that Polka Dot does not take. Oh, Polka Dot's letting me decide. That's fine. And he took vegetable. Okay, interesting. Kind of messes with Field Watchman a bit. I guess it makes it harder for Field Watchman. If Field Watchman can't get it sown this harvest, then that makes a big difference in whether Field Watchman can win Pickler or not. Um, I guess I take the boar, since they are worth more food when they breed. Feed six. Minus F to buy the incoming boar. Sheep for haystack. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, that's a really good point. Was Slapdash Reno in the game? I didn't pass it. He might have first picked it. Oh, he's building this stone oven. That's kind of weird. It's going to make it... I guess all he needs is one Reedstone food action to be able to Reno to stone house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he just needs one Reedstone food action to afford his stone house reno. Good game for Charcoal Burner. One, two, three, four, five procs by the end of round nine already. Quite good. I wonder if the sheep will wheel now because Polka Dot, Polka Dot just got food. Oh my goodness, he's got cooking corn. This is an amazing game for Charcoal Burner. Holy, all the all the upgrades.
Oh, never mind. Polka Dot doesn't get... I was thinking he gets grain from the stone oven, but he does not. Did I breed my boar? Not yet. I will do that. Thank you, Simfolds. So I'm pretty sure Polka Dot's taking the three sheep here, but if he doesn't, that would be great. Uh, okay, first move for wood. No, field watchman took it. Uh, first move plow then. Yeah. I want to be able to start player in round 11, so let's plow field here. I paid it already, Loman's Lyric. Thank you. Because uh, I was at 10 food before the harvest, and then I paid 6, and I also paid the food for the boar at the same time. And I announced it in chat as well. So uh, three wood coming back would be nice. Field Watchman builds another room. Interesting. Interesting. Well, Field Watchman has certainly grown very quickly and very aggressively. Yeah, both Field Watchman and Polka Dot I definitely have to be afraid of. Uh, so getting two sheep in round 11 would be great. It's four stone, I know. I don't really need the four stone, though. I don't want to go to a stone house because tile maker's in play. Stone house is only one point action for me. But there is the joinery and the pottery available. How many stone do I get from grocer? It's just one, right? Yeah. Four stone would be fine. Resource gatherer from PM, that's what it's called. I couldn't remember its name. I think I will last move start player evening prayer. I think. I'm going to start player evening prayer wealthy man grocer. And then I'll plan to first move take two sheep next round. And then second move haystack or granary. Hmm. Two sheep is not that high priority in action. Let's play evening prayer. Wealthy man and... Oh, I could play cowherd here maybe instead of grocer. Although grocer threatens me using the sow, at the sow space, which would be nice. V R clay wood V S G R Hmm 
So five points from Wealthy Man. And honestly, the board next round is not that exciting. I think I will probably first move start player. So start player into start player is pretty lame, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, I should get two sheet back, which I think is the move that I like the most. Uh, getting so bake would be fine as well. But yeah, two sheep would be the action that I really want back. I could have played cow herd there and then taken one cattle. Yeah. The thing is, uh, Field Watchman and PM both can't do anything with animals right now. So I think it's okay to, uh, to hope that I get the two cattle round 12. Although realistically, Polka Dot probably fences in round 11, most likely. Yeah, this is always irritating when people do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six. I eat two boar to buy six goods, and then I'm going to play granary. All right, so yeah, two sheep wheeling would be great because then I can feed a sheep and four food. And then also I have breeding the rest of the way. Ox goad from one of these guys, that's true. So yeah, we're hoping for family growth around 12, but Plowso would be great as well. I guess I like Plowso a little less if I get last action so bake this round. But I think I would plow ahead of last action so bake, although plow probably is going to be gone by that point. Realistically. So basket maker would be a five food action, three food in each harvest, because I don't really have a use for that one read. Yeah, polka dot first move, so is two vegetables. Yeah, I'm not too surprised by that. And the two sheep did wheel. All right. So last move, two boar or three wood or occupation, uh, basket maker. I could do any of those. I guess I don't really need three wood. Two wood is enough because I fence 10. So 16 wood is fence 15 plus haystack. But it looks like the two boar are coming back. So I should probably just take the two boar. It's a good amount of food. Feed four food and a sheep. Breed the boar. PM plays Margrave. One bonus point at the end of the game for every opponent who does not live in a stone house. Well, certainly he's going to get a point from me because I'm not going to go to a stone house. Not for one measly point.
There's the aux code from Polkadot on Reno. Certainly looks like Polkadot will go to a stone house with four stone in his supply. I would like if Master the Manor, okay, this would be overkill, but it would be fun if Master the Manor let you build a fifth stable. That would be fun. Because it's hard to have five pastures and also have um, seven cattle and also hold sheep and boar. You need a lot of animal capacity to do that. So probably five pastures is one of the worst ways of getting Master of the Manor points. But you kind of need to. If you're going to build any num any rooms and plow six fields, you really need... You're, you're pretty much forced to do the five pasture strategy. Ooh, turnip field here for P Field Watchmen. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Oh, man. That's that's really scary. Yeah. That charcoal burner has been massive this game. We've had the fireplace upgrade to a cook stove. We've had the fireplace upgrade to a cooking hearth. I built the cooking hearth. We've had the clay oven, the stone oven. It's, yeah. It's been a ridiculously massive uh, charcoal burner game. Well, family growth came out. So cannot complain about that at all. That is what I wanted to see. So I could do second move start player full bottomed wig or second move start player haystack. Both of those I'd be okay with. Into plow so. Although I'm sure start player will get taken. Someone's gonna want to plow so next round. So if someone start players, I will happily plow a field. Three wood is also an option as well. Bad polka dot needs polka dot needs uh, wood. Field watchman is the most likely candidate to start player here. If he does, I guess I could take three wood. If I take three wood, I kind of screw up my opponents quite a bit. The thing is, if I'm not playing for master of the manor, just fencing four is fine, and that keeps lots of pressure on the fence action because all these guys want to fence still. Oh man, I could start player. I guess if I'm start playering, it's just to get plow so. Should I sh so I should plow here. Yeah. I'll third move start player if they give me the option again. And if someone else start players, then I'll third move so bake. Oh man, these guys are too busy to start player. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I won't play Haystack anymore. I'll just play full bottomed wig. Would be fine. Yeah, I can set up for plow so. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, so all my uh, miners except for evening prayer are worth points. So although my farm doesn't look amazing because my th only three family members, I've got a very solid score right now. Very, very solid score. So I'm going to have to eat a boar to make room for the incoming boar.
polka dot playing tavern keeper with the pottery fun yeah tavern keeper is a fun card So, yeah, Fencing 4 is um, 3 points, and it gives me the option of holding anim holding cattle, so it's potentially 5 or 6 points. Um, but if I don't, if someone is forced to first action fence, I might get a better action later, and then I could just build 2 stables for 2 points. That would be, a, that would be 1 less, 1 fewer point, 1 fewer points, but... Um, of course, it would let me, uh, if it makes my, like, first couple actions better, might be worth it. Like, if it means I get Plowso and, you know, one cattle or something, which I would not get otherwise, maybe. Wow, so... So now I'm sure we'll see Polkadot start player if PM does not. Because Polkadot wants to set up for Pickler. Wants to do a sow action, probably sow, try to sow three vegetables to get up to six. Because that would be enough to uh, beat the rest of us be very difficult for anyone else to get to six vegetables. Did I pay for my two goods? I might not have paid for my two goods that I just bought. Remove food on the board. I did not. I need to pay for my two goods. So yeah, I'm pretty sure... Oh, Polka Dot's fencing here. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll start player if I given the chance. Although, yeah, let's see. I want a fence. Field Watchman wants defense, and PM wants defense. So the three of us want defense. So if I start player, I'm not even guaranteed getting fence. So maybe I'll just plow a field. Um, now plow field is pretty bad if I get start player into plow. So, um. Maybe it's fine. There's not too much else that I want to do on this board anyways. So I'm definitely going to eat a boar in the harvest. So that's five food. So then I could play basket maker. That would be another two food here. Oh, PM's got pumpkin trellis. Oh, man. That's pretty good here. Pretty good start player action. Although it's quite late. I could just take the cattle here. Take the one cattle and then I eat two uh eat two boar. I could still play basket maker too. 
I still have that option. Or I could take one vegetable. If I take one vegetable, I'm threatening so. Because PM will certainly plow so. So if PM plow so gets up to five vegetables, then I think polka dot is probably polka dot going for so bake immediately after or is polka dot going to risk family growth um family growth baby sling family growth baby slings a very good action for polka dot field watchman will probably set up reno fence might try to mess with me by fencing regularly though because his uh, Reno is uncontested, it looks like. But I mean, I could always just take two stone and then Reno fence myself in the last round. Not that I have a uh, major improvement to play if I would got Reno major. Uh, so taking wood is one point. Um, these read are kind of useless. So I could also do something with read. Yeah, so polka dots up to five vegetables. So I could take one vegetable here to threaten the uh, the pickler. Or I could take two wood for one point. I think if I take vegetable here, I probably force polka dot to so bake or take vegetables. So then I maybe get family growth even without room. Next round. Feed eight and breed these two. Because now I'm threatening so one vegetable here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Polka Dot is going to first move so bake. And Field Watchman can't family growth, so that guarantees me family growth even without room next round. Which would be a very good three point action for me. Yeah. Let's read Master the Manor again. One category is one point, two category is two points, three category is four. Okay, so if I fenced five and I have five vegetables, that's only two categories. So if I got plow, that would be the third category and then this becomes a three point action. But it would require taking wood first, so I wouldn't have time to take wood and do that and do that, so yeah. Probably not worth it. Oh, I would have triggered Astronomer there. <laughs> I could have taken it. No, I, I took... Uh, Wealthy man over astronomer, I think, right? That was my fourth pack. I've got uh, my chemical romance stuck in my head. Oh, uh, PM's threatening to fence again, it looks like. Or maybe not, maybe just build stables. One less wood for each adjacent room. Okay, so this would be a free stable, this would be a one wood stable. So yeah, PM, uh, fencing four is two points, but stables are like three or four. So yeah, PM's going to build stables, it looks like. Ooh, polka dot slinged, interesting. That's risky. Well, maybe I so bake here then and try to win uh, this mansion for Field Watchman. He certainly has the resources for it, although he's one wood short and one stone short. So he needs one more stone, one more wood, and two more clay. So I'm guessing no, but uh, 
Yeah. It's possible. So if I sew here and then polka dot has some way of sewing, that's really bad. But if I sew here, it's a three point move over polka dot and PM. It's not three points over field watchman. Well, it might be three points over field watchman. Because PM could do a three-point vegetable move now. And so then Polka Dot would be the person left short on, veg on Pickler. Maybe Reed Nursery. Uh, no, it's. I think it's just the Braid Maker Swamp Farmer. I think that's all it is. Like he he's got uh, he's got Basket Maker's Brick Shop and just has been sowing his reed because every time he harvests reed, he gets food. Ooh, PM takes. Day labor. Okay. So let's see if PM, assuming PM stables, the stable here is free. That stable costs one wood. So then he would need another four wood. Yeah. So he only needs five wood to f do, f to build four stables. Whoops. So I'm hoping he's building stables and not fencing. So all family growth even without room. Next move. Someone's got to take vegetable. Why is no one taking vegetable? This is making me nervous. Why is no one taking vegetable? There's one vegetable for three points available. Why is no one going for it? Do they know something that I don't, maybe? They know there's another way of getting vegetables in the game or another way of getting the sow action. Yeah, PM fences. Why did he only fence three? That's weird. I'm not going to let him fence. I'm going to fence with this move. Maybe he's got a minor improvement to play. Wood miner. When is someone going to take one vegetable? It's weirding me out. I want to know who I'm tying for a pickler with. There it is. Polka dot grabs it. So now I fence four. And then last move, probably taking food. So let's see, I'm going to eat a sheep. Beacons. Oh, that's why I had to save the stone for beacons or save the wood for beacons. Fun. Three point card here. Um, so let's see, I could eat two boar and a sheep. And that only eats one point. Yeah, that's fine. So I could. I could do something like, oh wait, no, two born a sheep is not enough. Two born a sheep is not enough. I need more food than that. 
So I could play Basket Maker for net plus two food, or I just take Traveling Players for three food straight up. Yeah. So I eat a sheep to go to five. I have to, yeah, I have to eat two boar and a sheep either way. Darn, one food short. So I'm assuming I'm winning the pickler bonus. So I have whatever I score plus eight. So it's gonna be a reasonable score. Five family members, lots of improvement points. 53 it looks like. Good, I don't know if it's enough to win. Oh, uh, tile maker, never mind. I'll make your 55. Thank you, Loman's Lyric. Yeah, Field Watching reminded me too. Yeah, I realized it. As I go to check, I see Tile Maker here, and that's when I realized as well. So, yeah, it looks like this is a win. Yeah, thanks, SS. So 55 for me, GG. That should be enough for win number one on two win Tuesday. Feels pretty good beating a very strong uh, charcoal burner. And uh, beating two players who family growth really efficiently. Field Watchman and Polkadot both grew really efficiently, so... Uh, beating them is quite the accomplishment, I have to say. Yeah, seeing uh, Pickler was great. I was quite happy to see Pickler. Gave me more points to strive for. So what did Polkadot score? Don't think Polkadot's announced it yet. Something plus 10-ish, so maybe around 50. 49 it looks like. So yeah, we won by 6, so pretty good score. Yeah, pretty pretty great farm. Um, yeah, I fed really efficiently. Like I had, I got what what was the round? I got the two boar with my last move. That was a great that was a great action. Um, all my all my improvements were worth points. I sat in second for a really long time, so I got pretty good wood actions. Um, yeah. Yeah, really, really nice game. Okay. Um, guys, I'm going to run a short commercial break and uh, take a quick break. And uh, we're going to be back with game number two. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. This was win number one on two win Tuesday. So uh, if you're watching on YouTube and you don't already do it, give me a follow twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. And if you have a Amazon Prime account, you get one free Twitch Prime sub per month, which if you'd use it on me, I'd much appreciate. And then you get to come in and spam the well and uh, give me advice and remind me of TileMaker, that kind of thing, which I always appreciate. So uh, yeah, good night. Good night to you, SS. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.